Getting off to a flying start is the goal at the beginning of any group stage. Match day one coming up at the European Championship. Which team will come storming out of the traps today? Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And it's match day one in the 2024 UEFA European Championship. It's Germany versus Hungary. Well, these teams know they cannot afford to drop points today. It's so important they are consistent throughout the group stages if they want to progress further in the tournament. Should be tense, Derek. with the corner and first class defending cleared off the line in it goes that will do nicely for starters first goal of the game well here it is again and you have to say it's the perfect delivery into the danger area and it ends up with a fairly simple finish certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that is moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be Maximilian Mittelstedt might really be able to trouble them here but the danger averted for now and the referee takes exception to the challenge free kick well, later in the game, he might have seen yellow, but not at this early point. Yeah, but I'm with the referee. It's a foul, but no card. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack. Now he must favour the cross. Cross. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And cleared away. Plenty of options. Still trying to make something happen. Ta. This is Kroos. Now can they counter clinically? Can they use their pace? And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. And Kroos in full control as he gets forward. Loic Nego. Adam Nudge. Callum Styles. Well, no luck in terms of finding the target. Kai Havertz. Good move in the making from Germany. 
And let's give credit to the defending. Now, well, maybe room here for the counter attack. Maximilian Mittelstedt. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. Maximilian Mittelstedt. Kai Havertz. He could pick out a teammate. Nice looking move, this. Oh, could be! And that was goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. It's absolutely remarkable. His reflexes were brilliant there. How about the short corner? Nicely timed tackle. Rudiger. Kimmich. Germany pushing forward with options available. And a throw in forthcoming. Well, possibilities in the centre. Havertz. It opens up for Havertz. Can he find the right pass? Andri. Course. Oh, this looks useful. Oh, genuine chance. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Two nil here, and the ball is moving again. Adam Lang. And Havertz. Just the challenge that was required. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, truth be told, his influence on this game has been very limited. What have you made of his performance, Stuart? Well, Derek, he's usually so clever around the edge of the box, but today he just hasn't shown that. As the touch map shows us, he hasn't had enough touches in those key areas. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. And easily intercepted. Tony Kroos. Kai Havertz. Florian Wirtz. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Now, can they hit them on the counter? Well, had no intention of losing out. Martin Adam dropping deep to collect the ball. Well, good run, this. Now, what can he do with it? Not well, a shame that he couldn't find the target from there.
Germany doing well to regain possession. Havertz. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. And on with the action. Germany really beginning to flex their muscles. The scoreline threatening to get ugly here. Adam Nudge. Adam. Can they convert? Nicely blocked. Keeper getting the touch. Well, it just petered out. Rudiger. Andri. And Havertz. And back with Havertz. Well, really rifling that one in, and he didn't miss by much. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Well, those stats back up what we've been watching. It's been a really one-sided game, and it's far too easy for them to open up this defence. This could turn into a rout. Raum. Florian Wirtz. This is Kroos. Gundogan. Here's Kroos. Oh, fine stop. Danger averted. A very effective challenge put in. Ta. Musiala. And he has options available. Has the strength to hang on to it. Just wasn't going to give that ball away. Course. In a decent position now. Gunduan. Musiala. Now can they counter clinically? He might be able to profit from the wide position. Sends it back. He's blocked it. Gundogan. Now with Kimmich. Andri read that pass all the way, cutting it out. Jamal Musiala, Florian Wirtz. Well, they know how to pass the ball and at pace. Tony Kroos, Gundogan, and the keeper more than equal to the task. Favouring the short one. Very quick thinking there. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. 
Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late and he deserved a booking for that. Tony Kors. And the final whistle, the big story here, Germany have prevailed. Stuart, your analysis. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. Not in typical fashion, at times Kai Havertz made it look easy. Interested to know what you made of his performance. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.